relationships. I do too, though. I mean that, well, I, so I got out of it, you know, that you were very open and honest and really, I felt held nothing back, which. Yeah. It was really hard for me. I'm not going to lie. Like it was very, it was, an, it was a very emotional, um, process and Jen Schuster, who's the ghostwriter kind of helped me through it. Cause there was a lot of times I would write and like, we'd write or talk for hours and write things. And then I'd be like, I can't, I can't, I don't want to talk about this. I don't want to bring it up again. Like I left it in the past. I, I want to leave it there. And she's like, Audrina, we're doing this. So I was like, okay, you're right. If I'm going to do this, I have to do it hundred percent. So let's do it. So she kind of went through, Googled my name and found all this stuff. And she's like, let's talk about this. And let's talk about this. And I said, okay, let's, here it is. And I mean, I like all the fame talk. I mean, like, is your relationship to fame just totally different now? Like, it's it so, I be. feel like it is because now I'm a mom and I live in Orange County. So I'm not in LA. And I feel like everything's changed now from 15, 20 years ago. Um, the paparazzi is not as crazy, you know, and it's everything's online, like everything's on social media. We never had that. So, fame for me now you know, when I am out with my daughter and people want to take photos, I'll still take photos, but I'll, you know, I don't want her to be in the photos. That's why I asked. I was like, she doesn't have to say hi. Cause a lot of, I mean, I don't want to assume that you want her on. Yeah, But you know, this. it's crazy. She, she wants, she gets mad when she sees like a commercial or anything I'm on TV. She's like, mommy, that's not fair. I want to be on that with you. Like she's got it in her blood. So I don't know. She like wants to be a part of it. She wants to be in the pictures and she poses and like, like Kira, who are you? <laughs> well, they are making a Hills next generation. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. With a cast of 20, I don't know how they're going to do that because the Hills new beginnings, we had a cast of 14 and it was really hard because there was too much going on. And the episodes were an hour long, which I think they should have stuck to the 20 minute, you know, the half hour shows. Yeah. Um, we'll see though. Do you, I mean, how do you feel about that? Because I mean, well, Jersey Shore cast came out and said, I don't know, they're doing the same thing with Jersey Shore and they came out like Snooki and all of them and just said, no, thanks. Yeah. they're not I at mean, all happy. It's kind of like a smack in the face a little bit. I mean, just name it something different. Um, and Brody, was talking about it the other day too, because they're filming all of it in Malibu and like Calabasas. And, um, it's like, how are you going to do that with 20 people, but still call it the Hills, but it's all different. I just feel like the Hills was such an iconic OG reality show to try to recast it. Um, I don't know how it's going to be, but it, yeah, it was like a smack in the face a little bit like, okay, but I guess we're all boring now. So who knows? are you upset though? Like is Brody upset? Like, are you guys, cause I mean, Jersey shore, the people were really upset. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. It's like, we're not like upset, upset. It's just like, wow, you guys, like you couldn't like talk to us and give us another shot because the COVID and just everything that went on um, really like affected are the show but it's also we all had to step it up too so it's like were we willing to put in the work to do that like maybe these new fresh kids that have no responsibilities and don't care about their image they're just ready to give it their all and go for it and that's what they want which we're I would all, so you know we hold back a lot and we know what the producers are doing before they even ask us so we're like on to it and it changes the way we're going to do things sometimes where a new cast, they're not used to it. They're going to be thrown into situations and just, it'll be very fresh. Would you ever do, you're in Orange County, would you ever do more reality TV or specifically, you know, OC Real House? Yes. <laughs> no, I feel like OC Housewives is just not my not my thing. I, I know Lydia and I know Megan um, and Gretchen and I talk to them and I see them. Well, not Megan so much anymore, but Gretchen and Lydia, you know, and, and, oh, and well, she was on Beverly Hills Housewives, but I just don't think it's a show for me. I feel like Ashley Waller would be amazing on it. Like that would be a great show for her. 
Well, I mean, listen, I've had Lydia on, I've had Megan on, I've had Gretchen. I mean, so I I do agree. I think Ashley would be good, but if Andy called, if your phone rings, I mean, they are doing a new season. They're trying to figure out Cassie. If your phone rings right after this interview, it's Andy Cohen. He's like, Audrina, I just want to talk to you. I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to it because I have heard that they want to change it a little bit and bring in a young, like a different vibe and crowd. Um, so I would, I would be open to hearing what they have in mind or how I would fit in, you know, like where would I fit in there? Because I mean, it's me and my daughter and my house isn't massive and I don't have a private jet or anything. So I don't know where I would fit in. Well, this isn't Beverly Hills. That sounds like you would fit in just True. perfectly. <laughs> Maybe I will. Going back to this amazing book, does your ex know? Like, does he aware that this book is coming out? Like, has he, is there going to be a reaction? I mean, you know, I, I've been talking about it and I've been posting it on, on my social media. So, and everything in the book, of you know, it's not, I'm not talking down on him or I didn't write the book because of him. Um, so, you know, it's like, he was a big part of my life and I did talk about my perspective and what I, what I personally went through and, you know, my relationship and it's no secret, you know, our relationship was toxic. I mean, you just Google it and you see me crying on the street and like, it's, it was on the Audrina show. Like it was everywhere. So it's not like I'm coming out of the woodworks talking about it. You know, it's something that was a big part of my life that is also in the book. That's why I think it's such a great book. And then we'll wrap up just because there is so much tabloid stuff. You're saying your ghostwriter Googled you. There are you crying on the side of the streets, TMZ saying things. It's like, this is your word. So, I mean, that's to me, that's what I got from it. And just also not everyone, you know, really gets to that point of like, like you said, like, you're not going to ever have this type of relationship again. No, I feel for people, not everyone gets there. So I really took away, like, as people read this, hopefully a light bulb will go on for certain. I hope so. And sometimes, you know, like different people can read the same thing and get something different from it. So I can't wait to hear what the responses are. And, you know, I just hope and pray that it does help people in that way with the, in their relationships and what, to look out for. And even my relationship with Justin, you know, like, um, we were so young and so like, we should have did it so differently, but it's also that kind of paved my way into the next relationship that was worse. And I kept putting up with bad behavior and things that I should have just like walked out on immediately. But that's amazing. At least you and Justin could still remain friends. Yeah. He's done a lot of growing and healing as well. You know, um, he's like a different person now. Well, if he (laughs) did not want this nomadic lifestyle anymore, what about him? I mean, there's something about him that's so calming. And I know that if he was ready to commit and I would give it a shot just because I'm so comfortable and I know him, but I also like I want to start fresh. I want someone new and I want something different. Not sometimes when you have a, such a past and a history with someone, those little things come up, you know, and it'd be nice to like start fresh with someone new and create new memories and just a whole new dynamic. And someone who's like really ready to commit. Someone that's really ready to commit, that has integrity and they're loyal and they have, they're respected and they're you know, stable financially, and they have their own thing going on where I don't have to um, help or worry about that. You know, someone, I just want the whole package. Is that too much to ask for? No, it's really not too much to ask. Like you're successful, you're gorgeous. I mean, I'm a gay man. I can say this, like it's, you. you know, before we go, well, the next time we speak, hopefully you'll be in a loving relationship and you will be the number one, you know, you'll be on the New York Times bestselling list. Thank before you. We go, I hope so. I'm putting it out to the world. I have a feeling that that's what's going to happen. But <laughs> if, even though, you know, you're a little whatever, but if the, if they do ask, you know, hey, Audrina, we do want you to make an appearance on The Hills Next Generation, maybe in some capacity, would you, would you? This is what I told Brody. I'm like, if you're in Malibu, maybe you should just surf out there. 
<laughs> like if they're filming or something. Um, yeah, maybe I would as a mentor. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I would make an appearance for sure. Um, but I honestly, I'm so interested in how they're going to make that come together with 20 people. That's so many. It's a lot. I mean, even like you said, like new beginnings with 14 yeah. felt like a lot. And that's, you know, you did get like Frankie stuff caught and a lot of things were just cut that yeah. there were just a lot of people. You're like, oh, there's Whitney. We haven't seen her wait in like two episodes. Wait, I forgot yes. about that. And I know. Well, and there's also like we filmed for six months and had so much and then they didn't use any of it. We had to start over. So there is so much footage that was not used. I mean, they could do a whole show on the unused footage and deleted scenes. Well, maybe that would be <laughs> great too. Well, everyone needs to listen to your podcast and just, you know, this rewatching and get this book. Where can everyone find you online that doesn't follow you already? Oh, well, my Instagram, Audrina Patridge. And then there's a link there that you could click on and that you can buy the book on there. And it has all the places that, that it's available at. And then I'll be doing a book signing um, July 28th at the Grove in LA. So you should come by. Um, and then I'll also be in New Jersey. Um, at July bookends? Seventh. At bookends? Not, I think so. Doing I'm, a signing there. I, I'm going to try to go to that one. Yeah, I'm in New York City. So if you go on my Instagram and in my bio, there's a link. And if you click it, it 